So we're watching AIMD break out this morning. Actually, when I first saw this up 100%, I thought it was AMD. I was like, what the hell's going on now? Uh, but yeah, look at this. So this is a, a basically a double bottom here on the one minute. You get a buy signal here. Now this type of buy signal is something that I would take with small size if I take it. I typically don't like to take these type of setups, but you just look at like, what's the what are the next candles doing? And it's drifting up and then here, you break through all these anchor VWAPs, and then you come down, you test it, and then you shoot up again, try to break highs of the day, and you do it with volume here, right? So then it just pulls back and builds this flag that I drew out, and that's a buy signal that breaks above this flag. So there's your other buy, and you put your stop here, you can trail it, and now you're just looking for a sell signal. So right there, you had a lot of volume come in, dollar volume of 1.1 million. Uh, I'm looking at this 510 as a potential resistance. You got right here, let's mark that. 478. Okay, so you pulled back on lighter volume. Now you're going up on bigger volume, but right now it's there's some selling going on, right? We're not closing at the highs. Uh, so I would, uh, if I had bought like here, I would be scaling out. I would have scaled out of most of it, especially being this pre-market. Right now I would have a runner on, but still it's buyer strong. It's having trouble with this underneath the four, $5 level. Let's see. So you get a doji there, right? So this is yellow. It's kind of rare to see yellow volume. That just means it closed at break even. But it's so it's a new high. So let's see. Is this going to be a sell signal here? All right. Like I would already be out at this point. All right. So now you're getting the pink dot here. Okay. And this is something you should be all out of this. So at least the way I, that I trade on a, on a one minute. Same thing on a two minute and five minute. So I also have this chart layout here. So with TC two thousand, I have. Uh, you can save F1 through F12. I have charts saved with various indicators. Uh, this one, I like to look at mainly at the ADX, but this also shows, this is dollar volume here. This is share volume down here. And then I have these custom indicators built out, which it just gets to be too much to look at. Uh, but here, you're seeing a sell signal. And, and I'm just looking for signals, right? I'm looking for multiple signals here. Now, this wasn't a pink candle, if that were pink. That would be even a stronger sell signal. Um, now, I would I should say take profit signal because I'm not looking to short these. Uh, now you have the ADX at 49 on a one minute, 35 on a five minute. Okay, SGD. Right now this ADX is blue. It's pretty much underwater. It's slowed down. That's the way I look at it. It's just. It's pre-market, so things are typically slow. A lot of, a lot of traders don't trade pre-market. Uh, I typically do not myself. All right. So this, if you look at the five minute, now this is my pre-market layout. I like this layout for when the market is open here so that I can see AIMD, right? So I can see the, I mark out the dailies, the month, important daily or monthly levels, even, or maybe weekly, mostly monthly. Um, because these things can move so fast in a day when they are moving, they're pumping and dumping, pumping and dumping, right? So I have the five minute over here and one minute, 15 minute, five minute. Uh, I switch back and forth between the one and two over here. I actually like the two minute, um, probably most, just a little bit cleaner than the one minute. But over here you can see, like we never even got a sell signal. It's just a nice little pullback held at 330-ish level and ADX, everything was in an uptrend here, still. Uh, and and now, let's look at the, uh, and it's one thing, I don't know, uh, the ADR, okay, so ADR in the five minute is 8.67%. So every five minute candle is averaging eight, almost 9%, which is pretty high. News. You know, I have this TC2000 news that I've been testing out. And overall, for microcaps, I think it's kind of shitty. 
Uh, I haven't found it. Like QS was up big yesterday. And you would have had to do, there's no even news, right? But they had big news yesterday with the EV battery and Volkswagen deal. Uh, and so I think it's kind of a waste. I mean, typically I'll have this, my flags here. And this is, uh, I'm currently using TC2000 for trading. I'm looking at switching over to DOS, uh, have Swinker, Thinkorswim that I've used as well. Uh, but I don't know, TC2000, even though there's commissions, uh, it's it's worked for me. It's been the most profitable in here. Uh, one thing that I'm I'm going to start looking at is is uh, through DOS are the uh, time and sales. Uh, so that can be color coded, where uh, it'll show you if, if someone's buying above ask, which I think could be important. But then, I think for me, it's like the more things I look at, it can just create confusion and also cause me to get emotional, as opposed to just keeping it simple, looking for proper pivot points price action, reading my signals, the price and volume. It's all price and volume and signals. Uh, and that's what like, that's how I like to keep it too. So over here I have trade ideas. So I have the most important gappers. This is the most important scan in the morning, AIMD and SGD. And really I, it's, I'm kind of looking for confirmation because it's on my pre-market scanner. They're right here. And then they're right here as well. Uh, so they're on these scanners, right? So it's all kind of similar things. Uh, you, you get the bull combo down here. I've got my micro cap. I got my flag scan. I've got uh, uh, ADR scan and EP scan. So it's all pretty much the same thing. And then this one is volatility, a volatility scan, and then bear combo. Um, so it's a lot of duplication. And then over here, you can see like where it was making new highs, the volume that was coming in. Uh, so this this Momo high of day, small cap scanner. I'm looking at the float. Float is very important. I want to see the lower the better. Uh, anything really over like, really preferably under 5 million uh, and price between two and 20. Okay. And then I also have this scanner, which I don't really look at too much, uh, but I'm out of all of this. I look at this Momo one uh, and then I'll even look at this here this is something that's on YouTube, uh, low float. So it's all like kind of the same thing, right? It's all duplication of the same thing. And the purpose of that is just to keep me focused on, it's all designed to keep me focused on getting these explosive moves. So I'm looking for volatility, low float, big volume, and uh, something that's up 20% minimum, minimum. So that's, that's the game here. I mean, a lot of stuff I'm usually trading, it's up a hundred percent or more on the day. <clears throat> Qs are still in this little pullback mode this morning and they're coming, breaking below this anchor view app here for the gap up. Uh, let's move this here. Yep. So maybe we come down to this area, but so far it's just, just a pullback. I mean, there's, we haven't pulled back even 50% of this move. If we look at the fibs, let's see how much we've pulled back so far. All right, not even the point, the 3.82. So yes, you can, it's very easy to get negative and bearish. I think that's the easy thing to do and it's natural for humans, uh, but I would want to stay focused on the upside here. Now, if you look at this, I was just thinking about this the other day. Uh, I need to clear this out of here. How about this price action where you had an initial impulse move down on big volume and you closed at the lows. So if you'd flip this upside down, reverse it, which TC2000 does not have that ability to do, but if you did flip it upside down, this would be like a spike and then a nice little pullback and then you probably pull back to like the view app and then boom, like you'd short it like right there. Right. Or you'd go long right there if you flip it upside down. So I think that was such a, like a textbook move. Um, but now we're looking at it the other way, the way that it is, and seeing that it's coming into support. You're pulling back on the volumes, getting slower. All right. So buyers tried to step in here. Not so much here, but the volume was lower. And then here, you know, we tried to go higher, got uh, pushed back, but it was on lighter volume. So SGDD. SGD is trying to do something here. So it's a float here, 2 million float 
doesn't list because these things split and they're always changing. So I think it is hard to keep up, but I trust trade ideas the most when it comes to float. So the float on this AIMD is so small and they've already traded uh, 8 million. They've already traded 10 times their float this morning. So I would, uh, and it's up 147%. This is one that can, that can go up to six, nine. I mean, it could even hit up to this $9 level today. So that's kind of what I have in my thought process. Now I'm not saying it will, um, this is very risky and this company essentially is, it's pump and dump. They're probably trying to steal from you. So you have to be, you have to be quick. You have to take your profits. You have to buy at proper pivot points and you have to really know what you're doing. This isn't something you can just buy and hold overnight. No, you're going to be holding. I mean, if you buy it at the right spot, uh, you know, a lot of my trades within 30 seconds, I'm in and it, and it shoots up and I'm out and I'm taking profit. Uh, maybe it's a 10%, 20% gain or more. And a lot of times it'll go into a halt. So you got to scale out. You don't want to be in a halt. Um, I mean, at least the first halt, okay, maybe. Second halt, halt maybe, but definitely not the third or fourth halt. Um, and if you're going to be in a halt, you don't want to, you, you want to have like a smaller size. So, uh, so that's kind of the morning routine coming in here to the pre-market scanner. Um, look at the micro bowl and, and then just getting things ready, marking them out with my levels, my anchor view apps. Um, and then looking in here, having this up on another screen, uh, also looking at, I don't really like to look at this one too much. It's again, too much to look at. Uh, I will also have this up, uh, kind of running as well. And, and then I'll do research on the news. Like what, what's the news? What are these, what, what's the catalyst here on these? Um, yesterday when we had QS, I should have done a little more research on that, but QS was up here and this scan, uh, and I kind of just blew it off, but that's okay. Lesson learned.